So I've got three things for you today. Number one is Steve uh, Bannon uh, gonna do jail time. Will Steve Bannon do jail time? Let's just see. And then number two, Queen Elizabeth II, will she live past 100? That's interesting. Will Queen Elizabeth live past 100? And then number three, um, Donald Trump, is he running? And I'll just leave it at that. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Come on. I guess what I want to know is, will he testify truthfully in front of the committee? the January 6th committee, or maybe will he actually do jail time for not uh, uh, testifying? Because, you know, he's being, um, he's in court because he defied uh, the subpoena. A result of him, whatever the outcome is in the court, doesn't mean that, oh, now he'll have to testify. It doesn't. Uh, he could still not testify. So let's see that. Steve Bannon, will he testify? Will he do jail time? Now, Queen Elizabeth II. Her mother lived to be, what, 102, I think? I have to look it up, I suppose. But uh, will she go past 100 and still remain uh, queen uh, during that time? I'm interested in that. And then number three, is Donald Trump running? And I mean this in, in a broad sense. Is he going to run for president? Is he going to run from the law? So let's see what happens. So we'll find out uh, how this uh, goes. So uh, Steve Bannon, testify and jail time. Is that going to happen? Steve Bannon, testify, Willie, and jail time, Willie do this some. How's that gonna work out? Then uh, we're gonna see um, Queen Elizabeth II. So will she go past 100? Will she list past 100 as queen? Will Queen Elizabeth continue on past the age of 100 as queen? And then uh, Donald Trump, is he running for president? Okay. Will he actually run for, not will he declare that he's running, um, will he actually run for president? So think about that. So he has to win the Republican, no he has, first he has to declare that he's going to run, he then has to campaign for the Republican nomination, and he has to win it. Then he has to uh, campaign against whoever the Democratic uh, nominee is, and win that. So is he going to run for president? And then... Uh, is he running from the law? I think we know the answer to that, but you know, let's see what the cards uh, tell us. So those three things, Steve Bannon first, the cards don't want to cooperate today. Steve Bannon first, will he testify before the January 6th committee and will he do jail time? That's what I want to know. Before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. So good old Steve Bannon. What a guy. What a character. Some of these looked upside down. Let's go through them quickly. Make sure they're not because I'm not a fan of uh, inverted cards. They seem to be okay on a quick glance. So Steve Bannon, will he actually testify before the January 6th committee? Will Steve Bannon testify before the January 6th committee? Let's just do three cards on that. One, two, three. Will Steve Bannon testify before the January 6th committee? First card for this is the Knight of Pentacles. So here's the Knight and here's the Pentacles. And look how it's represented here. This is a little imp holding up kind of a very weak uh, symbol here. So um, it's not really a signifier, but it's the first card up. So uh, uh, pentacles are value, 
okay? And uh, this uh, knight will fight for his value, okay? So he's a pretty substantial uh, card. But the fact that he shows up as an imp tells me that, you know, an imp, what do you, what do you associate with an imp? Kind of backwards uh, or mischievous sort of uh, fighting, okay? Maybe not fair. So he'll fight for his value. He's a knight. So this tells me that uh, he may testify. Let's see what the next two cards uh, reveal. The second card up then is the King of Cups. Interesting card for the King of Cups. Now we see the King here is kind of, he's some sort of a sea creature. Do you see his, his hands are kind of webbed. He's, uh, this is the King right here. He's kind of laid out with kind of a fin-like uh, tail instead of legs uh, next to this turbulent uh, water. Cups are emotion, compassion, uh, heartfelt situations, and this is the king. So this tells me that this whole situation brings with it a lot of emotion. Okay, so will he testify? We've got the Knight of Pentacles, so he's going to fight for his value. And the very next card up signifies a lot of emotional uh, um, worth, but look how exhausted and even asleep this king is. The last card for Will Bannon uh, testify is this uh, wow so this is the um, the world card so this is the full cycle and what does this mean this means something's gonna come to a complete cycle I think this is pretty clear that yeah he's going to testify so we start out with the Knight of uh, Pentacles he's gonna come in as an impish uh, knight fighting for his value the um, the King of Cups representing lots of emotion and compassion, but is asleep. So maybe I could rethink this to say that you know all the emotion and compassion that is behind this issue is kind of taking a nap. And then the final card with this uh, World card is telling me that uh, you know it's the complete end of a cycle. Maybe I want to rethink my um, my prediction here because I think what this means is that he's it's not as important as we think it is that issue as to him testifying has sort of passed. It could be that they have enough testimony that they don't even need a him. So I think I'm going to stick with that. He's going to fight for his value. Um, will that be to testify? He's going to keep fighting to make himself important. Okay, That's what he's going to do in a dirty, impish kind of a way. The compassion behind all of this, the emotion behind all this is waning fast. And then um, also the end of this cycle is coming too. So that's what I think that means. So probably, I think maybe he won't testify. I don't think he'll be needed to testify. The Now, will he go to jail? Steve Bannon, will he actually go to jail? Remember, he's facing one or two months as opposed to one or two years. Or maybe nothing at all. Depends on what the judge decides. So let's do three cards also for that. Will Steve Bannon uh, go to jail? One, two, three. Okay, will Steve Bannon go to jail? Okay, first card for this one is this Five of Cups. Five of Cups is typically um, like kind of worrying over spilt milk. Okay, so will he go to jail? This is recognizing that something has been spilt and there's a little something left. Hmm. Next card for Willie Go to Jail is this, ah, this is the Fool. This is very interesting. So this is the, this is Major Arcana and this is the Fool's journey. So this is starting out on a new journey. I think maybe he will do some jail time. And then the final card for this is a King of, of Wands. And so Wands are plans, actions, forward movement. This king is riding in on the back of this sly fox. Interesting. So will he go? To, will Steve Bannon go to jail? It tells me here that there's uh, uh, there's kind of spilt milk here. There's some issues here that uh, that don't matter so much, and he better pay attention to the the couple of little cups that he's got left up uh, that can be useful to him. Could be jail. The uh, fool's journey here. He's starting off on a new journey, and. Um, it's a lot of mystery involved there. And then the final card is the King of Wands, really the King of Plans, but he's riding in on the back of a fox. So I think probably he's going to do some jail time. And, um, and he, took, he chose a weak um, uh, vehicle uh, to uh, promote his, his, uh, his plan. So I think he maybe won't testify, and he probably will do jail time. 
So now the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. We're going to do six cards on this one because I want to know if the Queen is going to uh, go past 100 as Queen. Will she go past the age of 100 as the Queen? Six cards to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be a dyadic cross, but if it looks promising, I could make it a full Celtic cross with four more cards. But right now we just commit to these six cards. Will the Queen go past the age of 100 as Queen? Okay, so this is the Eight of Swords. Okay, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And the Eight of Swords is typically feeling as if you're trapped. So this is interesting because we've got this bent over old woman here kind of reaching in to this little child to kind of uh, touch him. Now in the fairy tale, this was the Wicked Witch and this was the child that she was gonna eat. But I think the, the meaning is totally um, changed in this card from the fairy tale. So feeling trapped, but the fact is that once you're trapped, you can uh, work yourself free if you just uh, pay attention to your surroundings. Interesting card for the signifier. I'm not sure quite what it means as far as will the queen uh, be queen past the age of 100, but that's a signifier. The eight of, of swords feeling a bit trapped, but you're not really. The um, challenge to that with this ten of cups, ten of cups is happy family. You know, now it's starting to become clear to me. Ten of Cups is, um, you know, generational. It's uh, familial value. It's uh, really reaching for that and using it. So I'm going to say that this poor old queen is kind of reaching for the younger generation, and maybe that's what's going to help her uh, um, maintain her position. But underscoring all of this is this Nine of uh, Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The nine of nine of wands is typically being very embattled, and we can see here this is represented by kind of a tree, um, really kind of being uprooted, trying to move forward, and it's a big, heavy burden for this to happen. Okay, that's what's underpin all this, all the issues, all the embattlement, and what a difficult uh, situation is to move forward, but you would hope that if that's your situation in your life, that your family would step in and help you make that journey, wouldn't you? The past of this reading here is the Two of Cups. Um, cups, of course, of compassion, emotion, and the Two of Cups is kind of lovers, but this is in the past. Uh, the Two of Cups is finding uh, a perfect pairing to help you get a thing done. And we can see in this Two of Cups that these two folks here, and again, we're represented by a, a, a mature woman and a babe, but you can notice here that they're actually underwater. Okay, so the water line is here. So they're actually underwater with the school of fish kind of swimming against uh, the, um, the, the current uh, of, the, of the queen down up here, kind of looking anxiously at this babe. That's the past. So I'm gonna say that what this means for me is that she's looking towards the next generation and recognizing that the current is against her. But that's in the past. That's uh, accepted and part of her, uh, her um, reality that, that she understands. Now with this uh, up in the sky here, with this e 11 of the Major Arcana, and so the um, Major Arcana here is, I don't want to say it's judgment, but you know what I'm going to do? I am going to pull out the, um, the instructions. What happens, I use so many cards that um, there are times when I'm not 100% uh, confident of my interpretation. It is justice, very good. I should have just trusted myself. So, so this is justice up in the sky. And so what that tells me is that this small little person is representing the queen, actually. Justice is a, a, a bigger justice than any of us, okay? And justice is here to pass uh, its uh, judgment on uh, this queen. That's what's in the sky. And I guess that's what we would all hope for, that when the time comes, that we're ready for that judgment. But the final outcome for this, um, for the, the queen, uh, will she reign past the age of 100, is this two of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Two of wands is our small, short-term plans. I guess what's happening with this queen here, and we, we notice that this woman here is kind of being... Um, 
Is she being held back by this tree representing the wands? Or is she being propped up? Is she being encouraged forward? I think she's looking back on these plans as something that's kind of holding on to her. So these short-term plans are kind of holding on to her. For me, her plans to remain uh, in her reign as long as possible, those are her plans. And it's holding her back from going on and meeting her judgment. Let's do four more cards. Okay. Will the queen go past 100 as queen? The very self of that question then will be right here. And this is the six, the number six cards of Major Arcana. And again, these are uh, the lovers. Oh no, this is six of the Major Arcana. These are the lovers, actually. So this represents a partnership, almost an oath. Ah, she gave her pledge as a very young woman that she would serve for her entire life. The um, environment that that's in with this knight of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, the knight fighting for that. Okay, so her pledge is now in the environment of her fighting to keep that pledge. The hopes and the fears, will she go on past 100 uh, as queen? Is this Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles, of course, are value, their worth. They can actually be money, but I think in this case we're talking about her, her intrinsic value. And the Nine of Pentacles represents uh, someone who is just really awash in all the value they could ever want. We see here they typically are represented with the the um, diversion of the day, which only a very wealthy person would have because it's not a, a it's a something that's going to cost you money and you don't have to have to survive. So the hopes and the fears is that her intrinsic value that she comes with is what carries her through. And then the final outcome for all of this, will the queen go past 100 as queen? It's just three of wands, and wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The three of wands is long-term plans. And that tells me that that certainly is her plan for how, how, whatever, whatever breath she has in her body, she expects to use that as queen. It doesn't, let's go over it one more time. So will the queen continue a past 100 as queen? And we start out with this eight of swords uh, really feeling trapped, okay? But she's reaching out. Who is feeling trapped here? Is the queen feeling trapped? Because the queen in this uh, picture is loose and crippled and reaching forward towards this younger uh, person. Maybe this younger person, this could even be William, is feeling trapped in this moment. Interesting. And it's challenged by what? It's challenged by this familial uh, compassion, okay? It, so the queen's uh, willingness to both reach out to the younger generation and at the same time keep her oath is challenged by this familial compassion. That's who's going to help her uh, get through with this. It's underpinned by this nine of... Um, of wands, which is embattlement, okay? And so that's the the hardship that she has making this thing uh, a reality. And in the past of this, we have this two of cups, which is a partnership, finding that perfect partnership and uh, with compassion, but it's against the current. The um, sky of this is judgment. That's where she's heading. She's going to eventually be facing her final judgment. And in, and then in, in the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this, with this two of wands, is her short-term plans. And it's funny that it ended up talking about long-term plans because her short-term plans seem to be holding her back from meeting her final judgment. Okay, then the uh, s uh, significance, the signifier of that very question is this six of the major arcana, which represents lovers, partnerships, uh, getting a thing done together with someone else, her family, and then it's in the environment of what? This knight of swords fighting for her truth. It's the hopes and the fears are with this nine of pentacles, hopes that she has everything that she needs, all the value that she needs to continue on her journey. And then it finally ends up with this three of wands, long-term plans. I'm going to say that since this three of wands was the final outcome, the long-term plan, I believe she might actually make it past 100 as queen. Interesting. Of course, what do I know? I'm just a guy in Seattle uh, who thinks he can uh, read tarot cards. So that's that one. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is Donald Trump. Is he running? Is he running for president and is he running from the law? Donald Trump, is he running for president and is he running 
from the law. We're going to do this in two sets of cards. I'm only going to devote four cards to this first part and maybe four cards to the second part too. So Donald Trump, is he running for president? Donald Trump, will he run for president? And I don't mean will he declare that he's running. I don't mean will he run in the Republican primary and win it. I mean will he run against the Democratic nominee for president? Will Donald Trump actually be running for president in four cards? One, two, three, four. Donald Trump, will he actually be running for president? Four cards. Okay? First card. Ah, interesting. So again, so this shows up as all the value that he has. This is, right now I've got to say this is Donald. All the value that he has. It could be something else, but I'll reserve that for just a moment. Second card, is he running for president? Will he run for president? is this uh, Queen of Wands. Wands are actions, plans. The Queen of Wands is very strong uh, in this suit. So this tells me that there are strong plans to make this thing happen. But all this feminine energy is very interesting. The next card is, will he actually run for president with the Seven of Wands? You know, the Seven of Wands is being very embattled. It's typically represented in the Rider Waite deck as one person up on a cliff with a wand, kind of fighting off six other wands poking up from under the cliff. So this Seven of Wands is showing that this person is embattled, fighting off all those issues. Third card is to will he run as president. And the final card is to will he run for his president is this um, Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And I gotta tell you, if Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law is showing up, um, then this guy won't be running for president. So let's read it one more time. Will he actually run for president against the Democratic nominee? That's what I want to know. And it starts out with this. Uh, so he's got all this value behind him. I was thinking perhaps all this value could be the spirit of America just telling him as a silly parrot to be quiet. So that's my alternate reading for this first card. But uh, alternatively, it could just represent his uh, value, which I, I don't like that interpretation as much. I feel like this is... Um, the will of America kind of telling this, this silly uh, uh, senseless parrot shh be quiet the next card up then with this uh, queen of wands is telling us that, um, that uh, this is a strong plan okay a strong plan the seven of wands tells us that it's an embattled plan there's a lot of things coming up that are going to make this person have to fight against uh, all these embattlements. And then the final card being this Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, will win. I don't think he's going to be running as president. Why? Who knows? Maybe he doesn't win the nomination. Maybe he's in jail. So so let's go to the second part of this for Donald Trump. As uh, Is he running from the law? Is Donald Trump running from the law? Is that his frame of mind. A lot of people would say his frame of mind is that he is in the right and he's doing what he thinks is correct. And a lot of his supporters would say that he is absolutely um, not a criminal. So I want to know what will the cards tell us in four cards is Donald Trump running from the law? One, two, three, and four. Is Donald Trump running from the law? Okay. First card up is this Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is interesting. Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The Queen is a very strong um, a proponent of that Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. Is he running from the law? This is the Queen, the law. Is he running from her? The next one up here is a Six uh, of the Major Arcana. And the six of the major arcana are again the lovers. Okay, so this is the card where you've made a pact with someone. Interesting. Is he running from the law? The next card up with this nine of uh, swords, swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. And the nine of swords is a nightmare. Okay, it's so many of these issues coming up against you that you're just you're jolted out of your bed. Okay, it's a nightmare, and you you're not sure what's going on. Maybe a cold sweat. And then the final outcome here is this five, six, seven, eight 
of um, the Major Arcana, and this is Strength. This is the Strength card. Is he running from the law? The first card up, this Queen of Swords, is the law. Okay, there's a huge feminine um, uh, presence in the rule of law that's chasing him on several fronts. You've got the New York uh, District Attorney, you've got the Georgia, you've got uh, Liz Cheney, okay, S and Nancy Pelosi too. So this represents the queen looking for him. This uh, lover's card, I'm not sure. So the lover's card it indicates typically finding a partnership, finding that perfect pairing that's going to uh, sustain you. And then the next card up here, however, is a nightmare. So the nightmare rep and is uh, against to uh, truth, justice, rules, and 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 law. And then the final card, strength. It's a female strength. I think I'm going to have to pair these two cards up and say that the strength, this female energy, is what's going to be his downfall. And is he running from the law? He clearly is but he's not going to win. Now someone asked me a couple of questions and um, oh gosh I forgot the name of the person and it's a new subscriber I'm so sorry I forgot your name um, I'll look it up and and try to put it on the screen here and I apologize for not writing down your name but the questions were the Secret Service um, deleting those uh, texts and um, the, the self pardon and they just asked me to read on the Secret Service deleting those texts and the self the ridiculous self pardon they didn't want to know something specific so I'm going to do three cards for you name will appear um, on the Secret Service deletion of those texts what does that mean three cards Secret Service deletion of those texts okay three cards Secret Service deletion of those texts this is the night of truth, justice, rules, and law. Okay, this is the person who's going to fight for that. Interesting. The next one up then is the Three of Swords. Truth, justice, rules, and law, and the Three of Swords is a broken heart. Next one up is this um, 15, 16, 17 of the Major Arcana. I don't recall what the 17 of the Major Arcana is. I'm going to use my cheat sheet again, and we're going to look it up. What is the 17 of the Major Arcana? Um, sadly, like I said, I, I, depending on those darn Rider weight cards, they give me such a good hint as to what things are. 15, 16, 17 is the star card. Oh, I should have done Starry Night. So, um, the Secret Service. So, the first card up is this Knight of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The second card is this Three of a Broken Heart, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the final one is the star all empowered I think this is telling us that the Secret Service I believe was doing what they felt was in their purview okay so they felt like they were fighting for truth justice rules and law um, the result was a broken heart because we understood the rest of us uh, that this was you know not that and then the final thing with the star card you know in a starry night things can be revealed. You can see things a little bit clearer, but there's still a little uh, air of mystery in there. So I think all of this having to do with the Secret Service making those deletions was probably done in what they thought was the best interest of the country, but was actually the best interest of the Secret Service. They didn't want to get caught with that uh, damning information uh, in, their, in their hands. And then uh, the fact of what was done is a broken heart, and the truth will out but it still will be a little bit um, not as clear as it would have been in the, the light of day. And then the final with this uh, self-pardon. Self-pardon. I just want to know, did he self-pardon? Uh, he No, let's do this. If he self-pardoned, will it stand up? If Trump self-pardoned himself, will that hold and save him? Three cards. One, two, Three. If he self-pardoned, is it gonna is it gonna be to his um, benefit? First card. Ah, the lovers. Okay, so interesting. Major Arcana, lovers, perfect pairing. Second card up is this five of the uh, Major Arcana. 
five of the major arcana five 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 again gotta look it up I hope, i'm glad you i hope you guys uh don't think less of me for doing this but i just don't want to uh, make up some sort of a, a determination here and uh, oh this is the hierophant so this is the hierophant wow perfect pairing the hierophant so that is um uh the government okay and the next card then 10 11 12 13 is death i think he thought that this was the perfect pairing that he could self-pardon because he felt like he represented the government but he doesn't represent the government the government is is the ruler here and this is the end of him if that's what he did it absolutely will not hold up because remember if you accept a pardon you're admitting guilt well that's what i've got i hope that was interesting and uh, thank you so much so that's our three topics for today i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, what we talked about today or tell me what you uh, would like uh, to be on uh, the next video Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this deck by Los Carabillo is by renowned uh, uh, child, uh, children's book uh, illustrator, Arthur Rackham. So this is called the Arthur Rackham Tarot. And these are amazing. Um, this uh, fellow was uh, born in 1867, and he was an illustrator of such books as uh, the Brothers Grimm uh, Tales, um, Peter, who was it? Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens. And uh, so the cards himself, they come in this typical uh, box. Okay, and it's got illustrations from uh, Rackham all around it, which is nice. The uh, illustration booklet is just a typical uh, booklet in, I think, three languages and just with a very brief uh, talk about uh, Rackham here, but with good um, suggestions as to how to divide the cards. But nothing to write home about. <clears throat> the cards themselves. They're just typical. There's nothing special about the back that I can see, and uh, they're easy to handle. And uh, But the thing about these cards is the work. So when you have an artist who has gone into such detail for these images, and these are pulled from his works over the um, ages, I guess, you know, I guess he was active uh, 100 years ago or so. And uh, so fairy tales for children. And so this sort of stuff just really lends itself perfectly to telling stories in the tarot. The one thing that's odd, like, so for instance, here's a nine of pentacles, and you won't see nine pentacles on here, so you really have to know what the divination is, and then interpret his drawings, which are just fantastical, uh, into that uh, divination. So I like to put the cards out like this so that you can get an idea of what the decks look like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards, or I always have my eyes open for something different. Um, I love that uh, artists uh, come up with these cards, and... Um, they put so much attention into the original uh, works, and then that gives us, and then when someone wants to choose from their vast uh, repertoire to interpret the tarot, that's even more intention laid on top of that. So I hope you like them. I'm crazy about them. So these are Arthur Rackman's, or just the Rackman Tarot by Les Carabillo. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.